Hey everyone, welcome, 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 mwah, mwah, mwah. Hugs to you, lots of hugs. Can we all give ourselves a big, just self-compassion love hug right now? Welcome to episode five of The Greatness Game. And we are diving in. We are diving in. Let's just make sure that this is working. Okay, good. Uh, diving into a really great conversation about uh, abundance versus scarcity. So this is one of my favorite conversations because I know what it is like to be disempowered around money. I spent a many, many, many years of my life disempowered around money because we're not taught it. And a lot of our parents didn't teach it at home. We don't learn it at school. Hopefully that's a little changed right now. But um, if you're coming in, Mwah. Welcome to the greatness game. And I want everybody just to give themselves a big hug and saying, you're awesome. <laughs> everybody just needs a little self-compassion and love right now. So hello everyone. Timothy, hello. I wish I could give you a big hug. Hi, Allie. Cynthia, welcome, welcome. Hi, Patricia. I love seeing you guys every night. Um, for those of you who are joining me uh, every night, so tonight we are talking about money and abundance and um, getting rid of that scarcity that is going on that is so being um, just pushed in our face right now too. So this is actually going to be a two-part series tonight and tomorrow night in our uh, nightly calls here. So this is, a, like I said, a very passionate conversation that I love to have. So this is why I am passionate about this, is fear breeds smallness, smallness breeds scarcity, scarcity breeds disempowerment, and disempowerment breeds inaction. You know, we wonder, why do we get so paralyzed? Why? It's like you want to take action, or you want to make that sell, sale, or you want to grow your business, or you want to redo your budget, whatever it is right now, but it's it's like you're suffocated, right? We can get so paralyzed. Um, and that is fear and smallness at work. It has you. So as most of us know, we know that scarcity is a mindset. It is a mindset. So if you are in a place where you just lost all your clients or you lost your a uh, piece of your revenue or your company is shut down right now or you're unemployed, like so many things are happening right now, right? As far as money, can we keep our mind in the game? So this is the thing. Welcome to the greatness game. My name is Dina Patton. If you don't know me, I know a lot, a bunch of you are new. Hi, Tracy. Mwah. Um, and this is all about your mental toughness, your leadership and your greatness games. You can count on me to hold you guys accountable and myself to our future because our future needs us more than ever. Our past doesn't need us. So our future needs us. Your future needs you to stay in the game. Your future needs you to find another job or find another client or deal with your budget or whatever you're paralyzed in because this fear is so, it can go get us so paralyzed, right? So I do this because your future needs you. My future needs me, okay? Three months from, one month from now, three months from now, six months from now is the results that we're producing then all depends on who we're being and what we're doing right now. And although I want to sit and just eat my Oreos, which you know I love, <laughs> I love my Oreos, but the most important thing is, am I staying in action? Okay, so tonight we are, um, we are talking about abundance versus scarcity. And I want you to stick with me tonight and tomorrow because I am all about encouraging your courage and your greatness. That's the two things. Those are the two things that you need right now that I need right now. Courage, greatness creates action, right? We cannot take action in our personal life, in our business, in our, in anything, in anything, you guys, um, if we're disempowered. Disempowered, we are just like loose little noodles, okay? So 
Uh, if you've been with me, you know this is the fifth episode. Every single day is a different subject that is moving your train forward. And this is the thing that you've got to ask yourself. Is my train moving forward towards a plan, towards my goals, towards my vision, or is my train derailed, right? So I'm gonna help you get your train back on track and moving forward. And even if it's baby steps, you guys, baby steps moves the train. Baby steps moves goals, moves dreams, moves income, right? Movement begets movement. So go back onto my Facebook page. If you did not see the first four episodes, they're really crucial to this conversation because they compound each other. So um, tonight, all right. So I already talked to you about the the fear breeds inaction. And if you're in a place of inaction, I want you to go back and um, watch episode number one because it's all about greatness mindset and helping you move forward, right? We want to get our train off, uh, out of being derailed, back on track and moving forward. It's just one click at a time. All right, so before I go into point number two, I wanna just say hello to everybody that's new. Hi, Nancy, hi, Teresa, hi, Hannah. Is it Hannah, Hannah? Both of them, hello. <laughs> hi, Michael, hi, Alexandra, mwah. Allie, let's see, question. Um, stalled out for the, the last few days, indulging the comfort of smallness. Okay, good, indulging the comfort of smallness. So. I love that you said that because smallness is all about comfort. Smallness is not about, I want you guys to get this, smallness is not about wrong, like you're wrong and there's shame around it. Smallness is just about comfort. It's like where we go, right? And all we want right now is comfort. So sitting on the couch and eating Oreos or hiding, playing small, just being completely in, you know, maybe in the covers or <laughs> where whatever you're hiding or uh, places. So comfort, comfort, comfort. That might be the game that you're playing. What I'm challenging you to do is shift the game. Shift the game to be out of your comfort zone. It takes me out of my comfort zone to do this every night. Like I would be eating with my family and, you know, hiding out. But this holds me to account. I always say, I walk my talk. Every client that I've ever had for 20 years knows that I walk my talk. So I'm in it with you. So this is the thing. We want our comfort zone right now. Smallness is gonna pull you. It's like, woo, I'm gonna have so much fun roping her, roping him back into smallness. Yes, winning that game, no. We are done with smallness. We are not going to play that game. You were not put on this planet to play that game. Okay? So it is now. That doesn't mean we don't like, I just want to be clear. It doesn't mean that we don't take care of ourselves and have some downtime, right? But we're still moving. I can still move my train forward and still be with my family, still help my you know daughter with her school, etc. So, um, and I got a little bit of a workout in today and, you know, all the things that we have to do in this time, okay? Both and take care of ourselves, take care of our mind, body, spirit, nurture ourselves, give ourselves compassion and move the train and be accountable to our greatness gains and keep generating revenue or our job. All right, so... What I'm going to look at my notes for a second, but what I would really, it would really mean a lot to me is for those of you who have seen past episodes, put one thing, one action that you've taken or a win or a breakthrough, something that's made a difference for you. I would love to hear that because I'm going to get my uh, point number two here. I'm making a note. All right. Because tonight is, it, it is a, a heavy subject around money because it is so confronting right now. So um, let me read this. Patricia. I'm... Yay! I'm so, thank you for inviting Cynthia. Welcome, Cynthia. I love that. Patricia's so encouraging too. I love her. Um, and so let's go to point number two. Point number one was scarcity is a mindset 
Scarcity is a mindset first. So if you're in action, if you're not generating your business, your income, somewhere your mindset is stopped. Somewhere your mind is believing the smallness story that's going on. Like, we can't get out of this. I can't, I'm not good enough. I'm, uh, you know, I didn't, I didn't plan for this. I'm too stupid. I mean, there's a million things we could be believing right now. You have to come out of agreement with that smallness story right now. There is no time for believing the lies and believing the smallness and believing all the negativities. You have to shift that to the, to the greatness, right? And that's why a plan is so important. If I didn't have my plan to look at every day, like this is the game, this is what I'm doing, this is how I'm moving forward, I would get lost in, right, a million things. So here we go. A couple things um, that could, you know, there's some people who are thriving right now that are okay, that are doing great. Um, there's a few things that you need to know. There's um, ready.gov. There is a crisis plan for small businesses. You know, this happens all the time as far as like tornadoes and earthquakes, like this kind of disruption happens a lot, right? And if you haven't had a crisis plan put in place in your business and in your family, that's something that you can do. Put it on your goal sheet, put it under your greatness games list. Like I'm gonna get a crisis plan together, all right? So that's there. If you don't know about Dave Ramsey, he is an amazing expert that just, uh, I mean, amazing money uh, coach and radio personality. About 5 million people have gone through his um, through his classes, Financial Peace University. Go to DaveRamsey.com right now. He is offering a whole bunch of programs for free. If you do not have your house in order as far as your debt, your money, if you don't have a plan, his uh, class is, um, right now it's free, but otherwise it's, I think, $100. Amazing, and it's awesome. A financial plan um, that you can follow every day. So Dave Ramsey, and just some encouragement. He All he talks about is money, and so um, some really good concrete uh, things that you can find on his website. So that's uh, that. And then um, some, some people, some of my clients say they had business interruption um, insurance. So of course, what that is, is when your business gets interrupted, there is insurance for that. So there's all kinds of, you know, different things that people have had in place. They had three to six months of savings in, in place like Dave Ramsey. If you follow his plan, that's what you're living off of right now. You are prepared, right? Or if you had insurance for this, or if you had a crisis plan, but if you didn't have any of that, you're probably pretty rocked right now. So this is what I want to, there's two things that I want to cover tonight. And then tomorrow night, I'm going to cover money again, because we could, we could talk about empowerment around money uh, for weeks and not run out of tips. But I want to give you two things. <clears throat> the first tip that I want to give you is from actually a workshop that I do with my friend Karen Russo. It's called Money, Women, and Greatness that we teach every year. And it, there's just, it's such, it's so simple. It's like, what? That is so simple, but it's so powerful. And it is this, is you need to have a why behind your money. So right now it feels so scary and paralyzing, but if you put a why behind the money, like it's easy just to stop selling right now or stop your business or just be, you know, derailed or paralyzed. But when you put a why, like put your employees' names there or uh, put your child's, you know, uh, schooling there, like put a why behind your money. Be, it's not just enough to just go, I gotta make money right now. Like that's, that's a smallness, right? That just is a triggering smallness. Let's get powerful around our money. So getting a why of, this is my budget and this is why. Hi, Nikki, welcome. Hi, Michelle, welcome, welcome, welcome. Lindsay, welcome. Marie, welcome. You got snuck in there. Joanna, welcome, welcome to the greatness game. We're talking about money and abundance, staying in an abundance mindset versus scarcity, paralyzed in scarcity. 
So, <clears throat> so that is one is that you put a why behind your money and because what you focus on expands. Every time you make money that you know where it's going to. In Dave Ramsey's language, he says every dollar needs to be assigned. And that was a mind shift for me. We did his program probably six or seven years ago and it was really powerful. So whether you make $1,000 a month or $100,000 a month, you know where every single dollar goes. And that is how he teaches his students. It's very empowering when you know where every single dollar goes. So I would, that's where um, the next tip is gonna come in. And that is, this is a four part kind of to do as far as money is you want to write to, and I'll put this in the notes too. I'll write it so you guys have it, but it's four steps. What do you owe? So knowing exactly what you owe and who you owe right now. Two, what you own. So all your assets, what you owe, own, all right? Third is what you earn. And that means like the stimulus and different money that's coming in. Um, you know what is coming in as far as income, as far as stimulus, as far as insurance. Like I said, some of my clients had business interruption insurance. So those checks. So knowing what is coming in as far as income. And then, of course, what is going out in priority order because you have a budget. I cannot say enough about having a budget in priority order right now and cutting out anything luxury, anything. Because we don't know if this is lasting a month or three months, right? So we want to prepare for the worst and so that we're empowered around our money. So let me say those up four again. What you owe, what you own, what you earn, and where it's going. So budget, that fourth one is where is it going? If you and your spouse, or if you're single, you, or if you're a business owner, you and your partners, or again, if you're a business owner by yourself, these are for, you know, for your business and for personally. So when we are empowered around our money, it doesn't even allow smallness to give us those scarcity messages of like, I, I had talked to a client the other day that was just already starting to panic. And before she even looked at her money, before she ever looked at her budget, and when she looked at her budget, she's like, oh my gosh, we're, uh, we're fine, right? But that smallness can just trigger us in two seconds and we're in a very dark space. So when you, when you get your power around your money and it's in black and white, and if you don't have a budget, get your courage coat on and do a budget. That is the homework tonight, is do a budget. And what does a budget mean? Is it is everything that you earn has a, has a line item. You know exactly where all of your dollars go. Again, it doesn't matter if it's $1,000 a month or $100,000 a month. You know exactly where what's coming in and where it's going. And then you have a snapshot, you know what what your financials are day to day week to week month to month so we um i covered kind of a lot but i want to remember i want you to remember this is it starts abundance starts in your mindset right i am worthy i am valuable i can make it through i have a plan i'm going to thrive through this i'm going to survive through this and I, you know, something that I thought of today is, you know, a year from now or even five years from now, we're going to look back on this and go, oh my gosh, that completely, you know, derailed me and I fell apart and it took me a year and a half to come back. Or is it going to be a time where you're proud of yourself because you took your courage up and you said, this is really uncomfortable. I don't like doing this and I'm going to get my plan together, Right. So, hi, Mindy. Oh, Mindy. Mwah. Hi, Sarah. Sarah, I'm thinking of you and all your employees. She owns, hopefully I say this right, a speech therapy clinic up in, like, near Chicago with 25 employees. So, you know, disruption. 
So many people are so disrupted right now and we are going to make it through. We are going to make it through. Say that to yourself. I am going to make this time. I'm going to be empowered. I'm going to make it through. So um, not just make it through. I'm going to make it through with a plan and intentional and with my greatness. So um, what questions do you guys have um, about smallness, uh, about how scarcity can derail your train? You know, what I want to address really quick is back to smallness as a comfort, right? Smallness is all about comfort zone. And being broke, you know, being broke can be actually, comf- we can be very comfortable there. And some of us, I don't know about you, there's been many times in my past that I've been really broke. And although it's, it sucks, but it's also, it can be a, a um, comfort zone right? You don't have any responsibility. You don't have any employees. You just kind of survive. But we can just get really broken in smallness and we can get really resigned in smallness. So my commitment back to you guys is play a greatness game right now. Wherever you are, start there. Start there. If you have 10 employees to take care of, 100 employees to take care of, just a family to take care of, your unemployment to take care of, take care of it from your greatness. Take care of it with purpose and intention. You can do this. I can do this, right? Encouragement will get you far. So go back into my last four episodes. Um, The first episode is all about greatness mindset. I promise you it will help you click into your greatness mindset because We don't want you in that smallness mindset, that comfort zone that only gets smaller and smaller and smaller. And what that breeds is victim and helpless. And we can get to a very, very dark space there. Um, uh, Episode two is all about disciplining your emotions. Episode three was all about self-care, which is such a big point right now. Mind, body, and spirit. It's really important because you are the fuel in your life, in your business, in your career, and in your family. So mind, body, spirit, having a self-care plan. And then last night was all about hope versus faith and what you have hope in and what you have faith in. Um, And then tonight is about money. Tomorrow is about money. So tomorrow night, what we're going to do is really get kind of logistical and um, get down to actually some components of managing our money through this. So tonight was kind of mindset and how to look at money more in a, an empowering way. And so we can get our trains back on track. So, um, yes, you are, Sarah. She said, I'm going to make it through better and stronger. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That makes me dance. So um, if you are still watching, I would love for you. Let's see. Let's see, let's put the word, let, I, I'm trying to think of the word. What is the word? It's like, that. Mm, what is it? What is it? What is it? Greatness, greatness money, maybe? Greatness money, abundance, something around that. Like, choose a word that you can stand on right now. Choose one word and put it in the comments. It might be badass. It might be greatness. It might be abundance. It might be value. It might be power. Um, Choose one word that you're going to stand on as far as your money plan, as far as your money, your income moving forward with intention and purpose. So will you write that in the comments for me? One word that's going to empower you around your money in the, in the coming weeks. So, um, what else, you guys, what else can I give you? Oh, intentional. Yes. Intentional. That's where I'm staying. That's one of my favorite words is intentional. I am, I move my train when I'm intentional. Gratitude, absolutely. Staying so grateful in an attitude of gratefulness, deserving. Mm, I love that one. Deserving. 
I just want everybody to say, I deserve the best. I deserve income. I deserve to thrive through this. Starts in a mindset. And I want you guys to think creatively. Like, I don't know about you, but this is such an amazing time. If we can get through the fear, the derailment, such a great time for innovation and creativity. Now, what I can say about creativity, I did a lot of work last year around my creativity because I felt like in 17 and 18, I was taking care of my father who was ill and um, passed away. And I felt, I felt like I lost my creativity. Um, and I wanted my creativity back. And last year was the year that I dove in. I did a lot of work on myself and my kind of soul searching and, and just creativity sparked again. And so, which, which is funny because the greatness game, the podcast and everything that I am doing now or was preparing to do came from last year's uh, work. So I, you know, got my creativity back. And what I know about creativity is creativity is hard when you're in a dark place, right? Usually we have to be in a light place to get creative. But what I know from, from going through last year is I was not in the best place, but I was not in a dark place either. And I can tell you that I got my creativity back. Lots of ideas and innovations. And sometimes it just takes one little tweak of something. So maybe there's something that you're doing. Like Barbara, I love you. Um, I want everybody after this, um, Barbara is a very talented food network. She's been on award-winning cake and cupcake um, designer here in Scottsdale, Arizona. And she just made a toilet paper uh, designed um, happy birthday cake. And I was like, how cute is that? You know, you want to deliver someone some happiness, deliver them a, 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 a cake designed like toilet paper. Like, just so cute um, and little cupcakes like toilet paper. Um, but you know, what is the innovation that you can think of right now? Um, and maybe it's something you're already doing that you just tweak a little bit um, or something brand new, but your creativity, your innovation is gonna come out of your greatness, not from your smallness. So stay in that place of deserving, Ali. Stay in that place of gratitude, Sarah abundance, Barbara. Hi, Shannon. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Um, Patricia, abundance mentality. Absolutely. Stay in that space. And I want you guys tonight to not only get your head around your budget, like have a date for, with yourself with a glass of wine and do your budget, redo your budget if you haven't done it. And... <laughs> I love you, Shannon. And um, and then also, I want you just to give yourself some space tonight to get creative. Think about some things that you're doing. It might be in your family or in your um, in your business that can be innovative, creative. You know, sh speaking of Shannon, I was thinking of you today because we had soup for um, lunch today, and I was like, I wish I had some of Shannon's soup. Shannon like amazing cook, uh, but doesn't, she's not a chef. She doesn't sell it, but she should. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think it's a soup challenge, girlfriend, because I was like, if I had a big jar of Shannon's soup, that would be awesome. Maybe I should text her that I could buy some soup. <laughs> so maybe Shannon, this is the time that you need to be getting your homemade soups out there and it's a comfort food for everybody. I'd buy it. So Anyway, innovation will always come from our greatness, Allie. Every time, every time. So um, I challenge you to do that. That's the homework for tonight. And tomorrow night, we are going to do um, step two in money and actually get some, I'm going to give you some just, you know, tips from my Money Women Greatness workshop that um, has helped clients in the past, workshops in the past and um, help you be empowered around your money. If there's something specific you want me to cover, uh, either private message me or put them in the notes, okay? 
So it, that is all I have for you guys tonight. I think I went long. Yeah, I'm five minutes past. Um, I didn't have a, an alarm go off tonight, so I apologize. I always want to keep these to 20 minutes. So I hope you guys have an amazing night, a greatness night. I believe in you. I see you. You're an amazing leader in your family, in your community, in your business, in your career. And in the face of everything going on, stay in your greatness. That's the discipline right now. All right, you guys. Love you. See you back here tomorrow night. Glass of wine, 7 o'clock. See you then.